My name is Kathy, and today I'll be teaching the Irish song The Crookshane Lawn or The Little Fool Jug from the 50 Irish Melodies for All Harps book by Sylvia Woods. But before I do, I wanted to tell you that I have a great many videos now on many different topics, so I've decided to make several different video playlists so that it's easier to find the videos of greatest interest. So please check out my playlist page. The Crookshane Lawn, or the Little Full Jug, is a lovely Irish air that states, Let the farmer praise his grounds, as the hunter does his hounds, and so on. But the singer prefers his full jug. He reviews the benefits, and when death comes to take him, he will have death wait while he takes, uh, has another crookshean lawn. The meaning of the chorus in English is something like the following. My heart's love is my jug, bright health to my darling, my heart's love, her fair locks, and so forth. This tune, although reputed to originate in Dublin, actually embodies fragments of a much older Celtic song. The tune is clearly not Irish and is said to be of Danish origin. A variant of this tune which has reached modern times is called There was a little man and he had a little gun. Although the tune is apparently the work of a known author Dion Bukakalt 1820-1890 it was, has quickly been anonymized the several popular books on poetry that include the lyrics list no author. The earliest date for this tune is 1858. I will teach the easy version first and then the advanced version. Then I'll play the easy version with all of the elements discussed and then the advanced version. Now when performing this piece of music as a solo in public, it's nice to play the easy version and then immediately play the advanced version for a wonderful full toned effect. And I'll demonstrate this as well. Hello! When learning this piece of music, clap and count out the right hand and the left hand and then learn it hands separately and then put it hands together. The Crookshine Lawn is written in the key of A minor, so remember to engage the G sharping lever that is just above middle C. The G sharping lever is disengaged midway through the piece, but this level change is not diffi a difficult one because it happens at a point where there are whole notes, so it gives plenty of time to make the change. Now, all music tells a story, and I'm not talking about the words of the song. Rather, I'm speaking about the music itself. In the Crookshine Lawn, or the Little Full Jug, the melody is in the right hand and the accompaniment is in the left hand, so make sure that the right hand melody is louder overall than the left hand. And in all music, there's a beginning, an ending, and a climax point, and I'll discuss these elements now. In music, it's a general rule of thumb that when the notes of the melody, in this case the right hand notes, rise in pitch from lower notes to higher notes, that the volume will increase and when the notes fall in pitch, the volume will decrease. In general, the left hand of most songs will be the spot where the beat of the song manifests most strongly. In general, the first notes of each bar of music in the left hand is slightly emphasized to give a good, strong beat, and the lower notes are emphasized slightly as well, and what this does, it gives the playing of the piece of music greater depth and contrast. At the conclusion of the piece will be a slight retardando or a slight slowing down of the tempo so that the listener can hear that the song is about to end. And this is the melody of the Crookshin Lawn. the lever change takes place.
Isn't that beautiful? Now in the easy version there are uh, broken three note chords in the right hand and in the left hand. In the left hand uh, the broken three note chords come in uh, the lower note comes in with the right hand and the first example of this is on the second line of music midway through. Hear it? Okay, I'll do it again. Comes right in and I'll do it faster. Hear that? Okay. And uh, on the third line of music, when we have the whole note change and the lever sharp change uh, that takes place, um, it, the right hand three note chord comes in like this. We'll start at the beginning of the line three. Hear that? It comes in on the top of that broken three note chord. And this is the easy version of the Crook Sheen Lawn. Excellent. In the advanced version of the Crook Sheen Lawn, or the Little Full Jug, broken three note chords have been added to the right and the left hand. More notes have also been added to the left hand to give a fuller sound to the piece of music. The G sharping lever change in the middle of the piece of music is a little bit shorter than the easy version, but it's still not that difficult to manage. At the conclusion of the piece will be a slight retardando or a slight slowing down of the tempo so that the listener can hear that the song is about to end. Now, I just wanted to demonstrate how the broken three note chords occur in the advanced version, which is different than the easy version. In the advanced version, the uh, left hand comes in with the top note of the broken note chord, and the first example is on the first line, so I'll play the first line so you can hear that. Here, comes in on the top, and then here, I'll do it a little bit faster. Hear how that works? Excellent. And this is the advanced version of the Crook Sheen Lawn. Excellent. And this is the solar performance version of the Crook Sheen Lawn, starting first with the easy harp arrangement, immediately followed by the advanced harp arrangement.
great many videos now on many different topics and so I've decided to make several different video playlists so that it's easier to find the videos of greatest interest. So please check out my playlist page. Well, that's it for now. To stay up to date with my latest videos, make sure to subscribe to this free YouTube channel by clicking the red subscribe button right below this video. Take care.